I had Hank Amos, some notes from our lesson um, on Monday. Um, I was hard on you a little bit. I know it was hot, and um, we had a lot going on, but um, I think a lot of this stuff is just easy, little cleanup, basic fundamental stuff that you can take care of on your own just by throwing some alignment sticks down while you practice or um, just give me two minutes a day in a mirror. That's all That's all we need. Um, just so then, fundamentals, man, with a swing as good as yours, make a huge difference because they not only impact your swing, influence your swing, but over time they can create either good or bad habits. And um, I don't want to make or have you create compensations in your swing that hurt you long term. So um, basic stuff. Um, first, we were working on some alignment. Um, so I believe here we were aimed at the bell, which is over here, if not those green flags over there. So um, we were aimed a good bit to the right. Throw down alignment stick just for alignment. Um, Second thing, it looked like your belt was getting really level and then your chest was getting really bent over. Um, and so what that does as your chest gets whoops, as your chest gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to the ground, the arms heart start to hang lower. And so then from there you can notice this the toe of the golf club started to get up in the air and you were talking about how you kind of had a miss with that pull draw, things were kind of going a little bit too far to the left, and obviously that um, that has an influence that creates the ball to go left. Uh, another thing was that ball position, I know the bucket's in the way, but the ball was kind of right about there. Ball position had gotten a little bit too far forward, right, especially if we're playing a draw, maybe even a little bit further back than that one club head inside the left heel kind of baseline that we talk about not to mention the stance was getting super wide, right? So um, with an iron, you know, your mid irons, I'm kind of looking to have the inside part of your heels somewhere around your hip lines, and then you can flare for you, especially because we're not the most flexible individual in the world. We're going to flare those feet just a little bit, right? We're going to flare the trail foot a little bit to the to the right and then we're going to flare that lead foot a little bit to the left a little bit more than that trail foot so overall real quick again feet got a little bit too wide no flare in the left foot right head more in the right that ball position had crept a little bit too far forward so we narrowed up the stance got rid of that ball position forward and then um, tried to get you a little bit taller with your chest so um and the thing I do enjoy about lessons with my man Hank is that he's very aware of changes and very aware of how those changes impacts ball flight and his ball control. So um, less is more for sure with Hank. So video on the right, we got you squared up with your feet, got you a fraction taller, even though it felt funny, even though... Um, that helped, and then we got that club face sitting a little bit more flat on the ground. So that's just the basic setup fundamentals that we worked on. Um, from there, we talked a little bit about it, but we didn't go into great detail just because we had that tournament coming up. But um, you have a tendency to kind of let that club head swing inside, get a little bit inside that line. You know, and you can kind of see your chest stay still. We don't rotate. Now, it doesn't mean we need to have a long, flowy, huge backswing, which I know sometimes you're concerned about swing size. And that's plenty far enough, but I would just like to see a little bit more pivot controlling the club than your arms. But swing is really good, man. I love a lot of what you do and how you do it, and I'm not um, going to nitpick it too bad. Obviously, this was a fantastic shot. <laughs> but, um, so I think, again, we start with that setup stuff. You give me two minutes a day in a mirror, 
kind of making sure everything's symmetrical and lined up and then we're going to work that club a little bit more up and a little bit more pivot based so that we don't have to create a ton of speed and energy with your arms going through it but really good stuff otherwise the next thing we work on is learning how to score low so I'm just going to put up uh, ball next to you your swing's too good man to ever shoot anything over par ever so a little bit of work a little bit of discipline with the fundamentals will go a long ways with you and uh, I believe in you I'm just gonna play yours through and then compare it just a little bit towards um, Robert Rock player on the European tour has what everybody would kind of talk about as a textbook swing you can see how the club matches up with his hands there works up the plane a little bit Rotates really well with his body going in the backswing to the top. It's awesome stuff, Hank. Love the swing. Just really work on those fundamentals, make it easier for you to have consistency day to day rather than um, compensate for bad habits. Keep up the good work. Let me know if you have any questions.